Okay, guys, we have to be careful. Someone here is possessed by an owl. More pork! More pork! More pork! Who can it possibly be? Who? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I hope your day's gone really well. Uh, mine started off with the infusion up to the hospital. No sort of snags there. Everything went uh, pretty well. They gave me a new mask, which was uh, very good. And then I came home from there. The old back's um, slowly getting better. So, uh, yeah, I was looking a bit aged, staggering around up there. But uh, we got that there. And uh, then straight into classes and things for most of the afternoon. Uh, I decided to get out and just give my one flight with the drone just around my lunch hour so the shadows are coming down. You'll see that the people down the road from us are having their roof uh, replaced. It was an asbestos roof and uh, they had special asbestos removal people in, letterbox things and now the roofers are in there I think uh, putting a, a corrugated iron uh, roof on. Looks like it's going pretty well. The, the superstructure underneath looks uh, looks to be pretty good. So, uh, and they've got some nice weather for this time of year. So that's uh, really good. And uh, then I had a, a maths class this afternoon, which yeah went, went all right. It was uh, pretty good. And uh, tests and and what have you. So things are all going well. And uh, oh, we had a quiz tonight. So and the quiz sort of picked up a bit. Like we didn't have one Sunday night. So. The quiz is all gone, and then, uh, well, I needed an Instagram photo, not being very mobile. I was out on the deck just on nightfall, so I called it at the end of the day. People are always saying, well, at the end of the day. So that is the end of the day, with my good friend Fez, a pretty grainy light, low light. I think I've actually enhanced the light on that photograph a bit, so it's a bit blurry and a bit grainy, but I think that's how we all... That's sort of a pretty good reflection of what things are like at the end of the day, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, that, that's all good. And uh, into the uh, thing here. Still got a ton of marking and tests to write and what have you. But, uh, oh, well, we'll just uh, soldier on and get it in there and get it done. So uh, that's the way things are going at the moment. And, uh, yep, yeah, we're all pretty nice and happy. So here's the diary, one, four, three, five steps, uh, courtesy of the trip up to the hospital there, and uh, everything else pretty much as per there, the weight 83.4, a little disappointing, but uh, we'll hold that, we won't check the weight in the morning, and uh, infusion going well. And today's challenge takes us to ancient Rome, and what was a stigil used for? Put your answer in the comments below the video. Really liking the way that everybody's uh, answering the uh, the question in the comments, regardless of whether they're the first one in. All everybody's adding their little piece to it, which is really good. Which is the sort of intention of it is to just to increase our knowledge and know little bits and bobs. So first in uh, with the answer to yesterday's question, a snake was a Skux Deluxe Industries. Welcome. Welcome back to the uh, Hall of Fame. Good to see you and thanks for dropping by. Thanks for everybody for supporting the channel and dropping by. I really appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing you next time you're here. Well, good. Cheers. Fuel legit. This has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.